Let's do a problem. Here we have to show that four vertices of an isosceles trapezium are concyclic. So if we have an isosceles trapezium A, B, C, D, isosceles means that non-parallel sides are equal. We have to show here that A, B, C, D is a cyclic quadrilateral. Also, A, B is parallel to C, D here. Let's discuss the approach for proving this. Here, if AB is parallel to CD and AD is the transversal, then angles A and D will be supplementary as these are co-interior angles. For proving ABCD to be a cyclic quadrilateral, let's think of proving angle A and angle C as supplementary and angle B and angle D also as supplementary. If we can prove one pair, that is if we can prove angle A and C are supplementary, automatically angle B and angle D will be supplementary. We have already said that angle A and D are supplementary. If somehow we can prove angle D and angle C are equal, then we can say angle A and angle C are supplementary. Let's explore congruency for proving angle D and angle C as equal. For congruency, we need to have two triangles. For having two triangles, we will draw AP perpendicular to CD and BQ perpendicular to CD. Here, AP will be equal to BQ as perpendicular distance between parallel lines is same everywhere. Now we will consider triangles APD and triangle BQC. In these triangles, AP will be equal to BQ as distance between parallel lines. AD will be equal to BC given and angle APD will be equal to angle BQC, each equal to 90 degrees. Therefore, triangle APD is congruent to triangle BQC by RHS condition. By CPCT, angle D is equal to angle C. Now we know, as we have discussed in the approach, Angle A plus angle D is 180 as these are co-interior angles and here writing angle A as it is plus in place of angle D we can write angle C is equal to 180 degrees. And as angle A plus C is 180 degrees this implies automatically angle B plus angle D is also equal to 180 degrees. Now in ABCD, we have opposite angle supplementary, therefore ABCD is a cyclic quadrilateral. And all four vertices are concyclic. This is what we have to prove in this problem. So here we use the properties of cyclic quadrilateral to prove that vertices of an isosceles trapezium are concyclic. For completing the proof, we use the properties of parallel lines and congruent triangles also.